for the first time, you know, at least in our lifetime, right, we have these devices that essentially create this curiosity of things that aren't necessarily important to us, right? We know, you know, if our kids are kind of vying for our time, we know what's next. But if that Slack ping happens or that, you know, email, like, um, you know, what what's behind door two? Door number two is never important, right? right. Like one out of a hundred times, it's going to be important. And if it is important and you don't get to it, you're going to get a text anyways, right? But yet, once we hear that, I mean, uh, my buddy Nir Eyal has a good sort of way of testing this. Like, just put your phone there and then feel the visceral response when you see that little LED light ping up that there might be something there waiting for you. You can feel it, right? And so one of the like first things that I suggest is creating a transition ritual. It's okay to be off of work for certain hours of your day. And then you decide what you want to do with that. You know, I talk about it in the book about fun at work. Some people even find it fun to be at their desk and work through work as long as that's their decision, you know, because again, it's flexing your autonomy, right? So it doesn't, if productivity is a value of yours, then great. Like uh, Noah Kagan from AppSumo challenged me on this a bit. He's like, in my 20s, grinding it out with my friends because we were drinking beers and we were doing fun stuff along with these, you know, codathons was fun. And so I backed up a little bit. You know, I'm not going to argue that that, in that time period when he right. had that vitality and that's really what he enjoyed wasn't a poor use of time. You know, these were all over LinkedIn over the, la the last four weeks. Like since the last time this survey was done, the, the social uh, wellness survey, I think it was just a few years ago, 39% of Americans classified themselves as very happy. We're now down to 19%. The APA, so the American Psychological Association, just did a sur survey about personal well-being, found that war one in four workers are so burnt out, they don't even know what to do when they get home. They have like nothing left in the tank. And so, I mean, we have the data right in front of our face that we're you know, at this immense crisis. And again, I hope we're kind of opening our eyes to fun and leisure in the same way we did with sleep you know, two decades ago. And with that point and what Noah was making, relationships are also being sacrificed. We talked about, we touched on this a little bit earlier, but our relationship with our coworkers is as fraught as it's ever been. We don't feel connected to our coworkers. We're not spending time at the water cooler getting to know each other. We're not investing at all in their lives. We're so self focused and self motivated to reach our own goals that, heck yeah, Johnny and I have done hackathons at, at AOC. We worked all hours of the night, but we were doing it with a bunch of friends. Like when we started AOC, it was a bunch of friends coming together saying, hey, let's build this thing. That relationship created the space for fun, even though we were doing work. <laughs> but if you view your coworkers as adversarial or competitors that are vying for getting ahead of you or taking advantage of you or one-upping you, which a lot of our clients come to us with, how do I deal with these relationships with our coworkers? then it becomes something that is not fun. All fun is stripped away from work and it becomes a monotonous task that you just got to grind to get ahead. And that's why I think it's it's so interesting as we start to move into A, as we go through Saver, that there are things under our control. It may feel right now, if you're listening to this, that everything we're talking about up until this point hasn't related to you or maybe you're in a different position, but there are still things that you can find that are within your control Mm -hmm. that you can start to change, turn the dial on to create the space for the fun that all the science you shared earlier backs up, creates the productivity, creates reaching your goals, creates those moments of happiness and joy in our life that power us forward towards the meaningful life that we're all searching for on this planet. Mm -hmm.